what if you could command your mind to help you to become anything you wanted or help you to achieve the income that you wanted? That's what we're going to talk about today in this video. It's actually called auto suggestion. We're going to learn how to command our mind to get that goal that we're trying to achieve. Before we jump in, I want you to think about the Olympic swimmer, that kid that grew up wanting to be an Olympic swimmer, do you think their parents just kept bringing them to practice and saying, you're going to do this? Most of the time when that happens, the kid resists because it's not something that they want. They don't believe in themselves. It's not something they even desire. Yet the parent is pushing. I read an article once about a girl that was an Olympic swimmer and her parents gave the story and they said, she kept making us pay for all these events and all these practices and all of this. We were always laid back. We didn't really want to push our kids. But this one particular child wanted it so bad and she saw herself as being a great swimmer and she became that. And that's where desire comes in. You have to want it. You can't force somebody to be something that's not, if that makes sense. Think about the inventor. We all know the story about Thomas Edison, how he had like a thousand failures, but he believed in himself. He knew that this could happen. He convinced his mind that it was going to happen and nothing would stop him. And then there's the Wright brothers. Do you not think there were naysayers out there telling them that they were crazy? Put yourself back in that time, back when there weren't airplanes in the sky. They were going to fly. And I'm sure they got laughed at a lot, but they knew that they could do it and they were going to achieve it. Now, with that, I want to say when we used the the power of auto suggestion, we also have to have that intellect. And you need to come up with a plan and, and, and acquire those skills that is going to help you with your desire and your faith and your belief. Now, right here, I want to stop for a minute right here and let you know that I have a playlist that I've started about money mindset. And there are steps involved. You can't just say, oh, I believe, and then it's going to happen. In, in the videos that I've made so far in this playlist, I gave you some action steps to start with in video one. And video two, we, we started to plan something specific that we wanted and made a statement. Like if you're wanting to earn money, you need to know how much and by when. I have a certain amount of income that I want per month by the time I retire. And I have a few years to do it. I wrote out a list of everything I was going to do to achieve that and where that money was going to come from. Part of that hasn't even happened yet. My husband and I are building a short-term rental business and we're on the first one. My goal is bigger than that. We don't even know if we're going to be successful, but we know <laughs> because we believe. And faith, all of this develops faith. And then finally, we're going to talk about auto selection. And finally, today we're going to talk about auto suggestion or self suggestion where you put those thoughts into your mind. Now, what exactly is auto suggestion? Many people go through life just believing I am who I am. I was born this way. I do things because that's just who I am. Um, they may even blame the, the environment that they came from. I'm this way because of the environment that I came from. But you you know that you've read stories where somebody has come from a horrific background Two different people, same background. One will end up being very successful because they overcame that. They put that in the past. They didn't blame anybody. They didn't become a victim because of it. And they grew from it. And the other person lives the rest of their life saying, my life is horrible because of what happened. And what it really boils down to is their thought process and how they see that event and how they're going to allow it to affect their life. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Auto suggestion is what I like to call self-suggestion. What thoughts that you put in to your own mind and what you believe to be true. Now, it doesn't happen overnight. You can't just sit there and say, well, this is what I believe and this is what's going to happen. There is a process and that's what I'm going to show you today. What you need to do to really put some feeling behind that. Because you know, when you strongly believe in something, think about when you fell in love. I mean, you thought of nothing else and it was just the most beautiful feeling, right? And actually, it doesn't just stay there. You have to keep working on it. And that's how this is as well. When you believe in yourself, you just can't go through a two-week process and say, okay, I believe it's going to happen. You have to put work behind it, just like you have to keep that love alive. You have to put work behind it to keep that there. Otherwise, falls into a rut, fall off the wagon, and you don't do anything about it. 
I'm going to show you in this video how you can command your subconscious mind, tell it where you want it to go and add that feeling to it. Because the more you tell your mind where you want it to go, the more you're going to believe and the more faith that you're going to have and it becomes real. Your mind is part of your body, but it doesn't really have a mind of its own. It doesn't really know what's true and what's not true. And I know I bring this up all the time, but let's look at politics. You have your two extremes in, in our country of what people believe and they believe it. And that's why I don't get really mad at people. I mean, I might not agree with one side or the other, but people believe what they believe and they're passionate about it. And that's what you're going to do. You're going to create that passion and that desire and that faith in your mind to where nothing else matters. You're going to make it come true because you believe it. Now, in video two, we talked about desire and we, we did make that plan. I just shared you mine briefly um, of what that entailed. You're going to take that information from video two and we're going to turn it into a positive statement. And you're going to take this statement and read it out loud every morning, every night. I'm going to give you an example of a statement here and Actually, I'm going to write it down so that you can see it. I'm going to say it as well. Um, that way you can kind of get an idea. Your statement is yours, though. So you can change it, make it more um, powerful to what you want. And so that it, it, it ignites that emotion inside of you. But every morning you're going to read it and then every night and then keep it visible. I don't care if you frame it somewhere where you pass it every time you go into the kitchen to get something to eat or if there's another place in your house that you go. Put it there so you keep seeing it and it, it becomes part of who you are. And that is what's going to ignite that fuel in your brain to suggest what you are going to achieve. Up on the screen, I have an example of a daily statement. You can go to the Grow Rich book and 51, 52, and he goes into more detail. But this, <clears throat> by January 1st of 2025, I will have in my possession $100,000 or whatever you want which will come to me in various amounts from time to time during the interim. Now, here's where you can be specific. You can say these amounts will be from point A, B, and C, whatever it is. If you're starting a business, maybe you just don't know. If you don't know, just keep the statement as it is. In return for this money, I will give my best service and expertise of what I am capable, rendering the best ability and quality as I build my business. Again, you can add those specifics or just leave it blank. Maybe you just don't know where coming from, but you do believe it's coming. I believe I will have, in the, have this money in my possession. My faith is so strong that I can see this money before my eyes. I can touch it with my hands. Now, again, if you don't have a plan, you might want to add something like, I'm waiting for a plan in which I will accumulate this money and I will follow it when it is received. So you're kind of having faith that a plan will come. Some of you already have one. And that's why I want to talk very quickly. If you already have this plan, then you want to start thinking about how you're going to educate yourself to create, um, to move this plan along. We, like I said, we're doing short-term rentals. I don't know anything about it. We've done rentals uh, on a month-to-month -month basis. We've flipped a house, but every time we seek this new path for where we want to go, we have to do research. And sometimes you may have to take a class or a course or get on the computer and do some research and learning what it is that you want to achieve. You can't just sit back and think that that intellect is just going to come into your mind. That will not happen. You cannot wish <laughs> or convince yourself that your intellect is there if you don't have that knowledge. Knowledge has to be learned, okay? So I didn't want to do a whole video on that, um, I, but I do want to specify that definitely if you have a plan, lay it out, integrate it into your statement so that you can see exactly what it is you'll be doing. And then what are those educational things that I'm going to do to help grow my intellect to help me to become better at what I'm doing? I, like I always tell my kids in third grade, I always say, you just don't know how to do it yet. And tell yourself that I, I have to get that knowledge. I don't have it yet, but I will. Some people are probably listening to this and they're very skeptical about it and they're thinking this is crazy. And probably if you're one of those people, you haven't even gotten this far because you probably turned it off sooner. And I get it because I would have been that way at one time in my life. But um, as you get older, you kind of see things differently and you see what works and what doesn't. And if you follow the instructions outlined, your skepticism is going to be replaced by belief. And this in turn will soon become crystallized in absolute faith.
And that's what we want, right? We, we see that progression through the videos and the playlist. So that's where we're at. I want you to go ahead and make your statement. Let me know below in, in the comments if you've done that. Have you written out your statement? And are you saying what you need to say? Are you reading it every morning, every night? You don't have to share your statement, but let us know that you're doing it and you're going to become successful through telling your mind what you wanted to believe. You have a good one. Have a blessed day and I'll see you on the next video.